What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. Right at the beginning here, I'm gonna say today's crazy, crazy busy. And I'm not gonna have a chance to film too much today before we close. What's this? Those two of the things, well, the Resident Evil 5 didn't get put in the system, I guess? Yeah, because it didn't have a case or anything, so I was just like, we'll just put it on the spindle. Oh, I mean, the case, yeah, it had uh, the case. It was like, it was a black case, but I had the artwork. Oh, it's a uh, printed artwork. The back oh. is like Hollywood video style. Okay, I didn't see that. So yeah, you can go ahead and put that one on the spindle. Oh, okay. can you take the phone? <laughs> so yeah, it's been it's been incredibly busy. Um, everything from here over so far are trade-ins, and that's not even all of them. We have a huge amount of toys out there that are in like three boxes, um, and then just like more like more stacks of games and some consoles and everything it's really really crazy super super busy but i wanted to at least come back here and film an intro for you guys to let you know that today's vlog is going to be super awesome we're not going to have a ton of clips throughout the day but we got a japanese package two of them actually and then we got these boxes and then we also got another really big box that you guys are really going to enjoy seeing. It's probably going to be, today's probably going to be one of the coolest like unboxing videos that we have done um, ever. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. I got to get back to work. All right, guys. So we are closed now and we have so much stuff to go through. Uh, we have packages to open. We have all the trade-ins from today. And so I separated everything into like stacks of the system that the games are for but i did not separate them by price there's just too much to do it's already super late we're not going to be getting home till like midnight or something so we need to just get through this stuff so i'm going to show you all the trade-ins and all that stuff and then we'll take a look at the packages all right so first up we have a playstation bag we have a build-a-bear ev plush we got this kirby plush which is one of the ones that we sell new anyway <laughs> uh playstation extension cable ps3 camera there's a bag here of a bunch of game boy games and memory cards there's nothing special in here uh, these are all like filler titles so i'm not going to bother opening them we obviously have not stickered them yet we have a space cadet lunchbox we have boxes only for xena warrior princess super caesar's palace and scooby-doo mystery manual. okay xena has a manual but no cartridges in those then we have all this stuff there's some more over there so 3ds we have chronicle samurai warriors Codename Steam, Yokai Watch, and Little Battlers Experience. PS1, Simpsons Wrestling, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, Tekken 3, Crash Team Racing, and Mortal Kombat Trilogy, of course, all loose there. Then we have Crusaders of Might and Magic, another Jedi Power Battles, uh, Strikers 1945, no manual, and the uh, like blockbuster sticker on the disc. Some of that stuff came from Dan, who has a Twitch channel. He collects VHS. He's local to the area. Daniel and the Demon. He is, his username on Twitch is Daniel the Demon. He's a really cool guy. He also does like video game stuff, but he like his entire basement is set up like a retro VHS shop. So you guys should definitely check him out. Yeah. Uh, Descent Maximum and Spyro Ripto Ripto's Rage. For PS4, whoa, they're falling. We have Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. These are gonna fall. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Kingdoms of Amalur, Re Reckoning. It's a horrible name. Tales of Berseria, Tales of Zestiria, uh, The Seven Deadly Sins, Knights of Britannia. That one looks kind of cool. Middle Earth, Shadow of War, Agents of Mayhem, God of War. This is sealed. Mortal Kombat XL, also sealed, but it does have a small rip right here. Sonic Mania sealed. PlayStation VR Demo 2.0 uh, sealed. Motocross uh, Battlefront 2 and FIFA 14. One NES game, Bionic Commando. For PS3, we have Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, Red Dead Redemption, Overlord, Raising Hell, Skate 3, Skylanders Giants, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Sports Champions, at, uh, Parts of the Caribbean at World's End, Ratchet and Clank All for One, and Skyrim. For PSP, we have an import, uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. You have this as an import, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, okay. it's a German import. I believe it is not in English. It also, the title's wrong on there. I, I saw that earlier. Oh, yeah. It says vinyl instead of final. <laughs> and then Untold Legends Warriors Code and Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. For DS, we have Ninja Reflex, Clue, Mousetrap, and Perfection, and something else. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Lego Batman 2, Club Penguin, Mini Ninjas, Drawn to Life, Pokemon White Version 2, yo! This was cartridge only, but we had a case of manual for it. Trackmania, 
Monster Trucks, which is in really bad condition. Big Brain Academy and Pokemon Soul Silver. For Xbox One, we have NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17 Legend Edition, FIFA 16, FIFA 17 Deluxe Edition, Fallout 4, Madden 17 Deluxe, NBA 2K18, NBA 2K19 20th Anniversary, A Way Out, Dark Souls Trilogy, this is a PAL import, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Field, Sonic Team Sonic Racing, Rare Replay, Cars 3, awesome game, Mutant League Football, Lego Harry Potter Collection, this is sealed, Lego Marvel Avengers sealed, Lego Jurassic World sealed, Need for Speed sealed, Need for Speed sealed, Need for Speed sealed, FIFA 19 sealed, Mass Effect Andromeda Deluxe sealed, Mass Effect Andromeda, actually one of these is going to be incorrect. I put these in as the same game. I didn't realize it, because I was just looking at the spines. So one of those is on the incorrect listing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Making Abby do extra work. Lego Jurassic World, another FIFA 19, Star Wars Battlefront, Rock Band 4. Rock Band 4, isn't that like $30? Not for Xbox One. For PS4, mm. yes. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's pretty like water damage. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition and King's Quest. For Genesis, we have Comic Zone, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, Mickey Mania, and a Sonic 2. For Switch, we have Animal Crossing, excuse me, Xenoblade Xenoverse 2, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Fire Emblem Warriors, Trials of Mana. And then we're going to come around to the other side. For GameCube, we have Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2, Madden 06, PK Out of the Shadows, and Ascar Thunder 2003. For Wii U, we have Skylander Swap Force, Mario, Mario 3D World, Mario Kart. For the original Wii, we have Okami, Prince of Persia Rival Swords, Just Dance 3, the Best Buy exclusive version, Deer Drive, North American Hunting, Extravaganza, Wii Play, and Wii Fit Plus. For PS2, Gran Turismo 3, SRS, Tony Hawk's Underground, Finding Nemo, Star Wars Battlefront 2, MLB 2K6, San Andreas, Happy Feet, uh, MLB 2K5, Mercenaries, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, awesome game, Rise to Honor, I guess this is disc and manual only, it's got a, like a Hollywood video type case, NBA 2K8, Killzone, ATV Offered Fury 2, Dynasty Warriors 4, ESPN, College Hoops, Chronicles of Narnia, Black, NBA 2K2, Cobell's Dangerous Hunts, Ghost Recon, Casper Spirit Dimensions, another copy of Black, Fight Night Round 2, Rainbow Six 3, and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. For original Xbox, we have Medal of Honor Frontline, SSX 3, Delta Force Black Hawk Down, Battlefield 2, Far Cry Instincts. Someone drew on the cover here, but it's just just uh, disc and manual. said that he drew that when he was younger. <laughs> he drew it when he was a kid. NBA Ballers, Destroy All Humans, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which... Can't believe how expensive that's gotten. That's crazy. Another Delta Force Black Hawk Down, Halo 2, Need for Speed Underground, Rally Sport Challenge, Haunted Mansion, Dead or Alive 3, Spider Man, Men of Valor, Lynx 2004, NFL 2K3, Sneak King, uh, All Star Baseball 2003, Project Gotham Racing, Star Wars Battlefront 2, SSX Tricky, Fable, Street Volume 3, Freestyle Street Soccer. Uh, which is a blockbuster exclusive. Sega Soccer Slam, Peter Jackson's King Kong. That game for 360 is very expensive. This one's not expensive at all. The original Xbox version. It's priced the uh, King Kong. I, I'm not sure. I'll double check that one. I'm not going to put that in. I'm pretty sure that was Brute Force, Star Wars, Tetris Worlds, Blood Omen 2, Dance Dance Evolution Ultra Mix 4, Dead to Rights, Republic Commando. Halo 2, limited edition, but it's pretty worn. Golden Eye Rogue Agent, X-Men, Conflict Desert Storm, 007 Nightfire, NBA Tonight, 2002, Turok Evolution, and Xbox Music Mixer. For 360, uh, these games are all like this because these are just the last ones I stickered, but Forza Horizon, Gears of War 2, Halo 3, limited edition, Gears of War 3, You're in the Movies, 3 Connect Adventures, MLB 2K8, Madden 13, Assassin's Creed 2, Transformers, FIFA 13, NBA 2K18, which is kind of expensive. And then we have Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil Revelations, Halo 4, Connect Adventures, 
Batman Arkham City, Seen It, Guitar Hero 3, A Disc Only Silent Hill Downpour, Walking Dead Survival Instinct, Rock Band, Rock Band 2, At World's End, El Should Die, Kingdom of Fire Circle of Doom, Aragon, Fable 3, Backyard Sports Rookie Rush, The First Templar, Game of Thrones. I thought that one was more expensive. Yeah, it was, and then the hmm. last season sucked. Fable 2? Fable 2 is $15? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are these prices? Battlefield Hardline, Oblivion Collector's Edition, Call of Duty Ghosts, Need for Speed Pro Street, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Halo 4, Two Worlds, and Sega Superstars Tennis and Xbox Live Arcade. We're going to come back around again. Before we get to those, we have some stuff back here. Excuse me. We have a VHS, uh, Ampa Man, I think is how you say it. It's a Japanese one. Um, Then a couple of manuals and then strategy guides. NFL Blitz, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, All-Star Baseball 2000, and Illusion of Gaia. This is kind of worn. It's kind of like a little bit water damaged, but none of the pages are stuck together. Then we have a Smash Ultimate Guide. Also a little worn. Wind Waker Guide, pretty worn. Tomb Raider 3, Sword of Mana, and Fallout 3. And then we have this little, like, Switch GameCube-style controller. And then a Retro Tank. Um, Kyle wants to buy that. Oh, and then that that Super Nintendo box. <laughs> There's no console in it. Um, we also have all this broken stuff here that someone just, like, donated. There's a huge thing of toys here, which we're not going to go through because none of it's really in the system. Uh, that is the coolest thing. God, stuff's so dusty. And then we have this stuff here, which is not stickered yet. Nothing too special. We have uh, Golf, Space Invaders, and Space Jockey. Jurassic Park 2 for Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong, Blazing Lasers for Turbo. And then for N64, we have Excite Bike. Rugrat Scavenger Hunt, and NFL, or, yeah, NFL Quarterback Club 98, uh, Winter Olympics 98, Shadows of the Empire, NFL Blitz, Star Wars Racer, uh, Rainbow Six, Grey Cart variant, Rogue Squadron, Scooby-Doo, Rush, GoldenEye, Star Fox, Mario Kart, Smash, and Tony Hawk 1. Then we have a, a 16 gig Vita memory card, Killzone Mercenary, Another Soul Silver, but a loose copy this time. And then Monsters Inc. and Madden 2000. And then we have Spyro, Season of Ice, Pokemon Sapphire, Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon Emerald, which is super, super awesome. And then lastly, the coolest thing. Oh, well, not lastly. We also got two more TVs yeah, today. So <laughs> we got this uh, Konka brand, which I've never heard of. Comes with the remote. We tested them all. They work works great. And then also this Daewoo one that doesn't have a remote, and it's RF only. So I tested it with an NES. Works great, but you can't plug in, like, you know, any AV consoles. And then that's stuff Abby's working on from before. It's not new. This came in today. I uh, haven't even opened it. <laughs> and then, guys... We got a Vectrex, which is super awesome. It works great. Uh, The only thing, I don't know if I can get this out with one hand, but there's a reset button in there that is actually missing, like, the little cap on the button. Uh, Still works fine, but it's just missing that. And then came with Armor Attack with the overlay, and then Solar Quest, Star Trek, and Clean Sweep. He said he has the overlays for the other games, but he couldn't find them. So if these don't sell before he brings them in, then we will, of course, just include those with the games. But chances are some of the stuff will sell before he comes back. That's usually what happens when when people tell us they have stuff that they forgot. Um, But yeah, Vectrex is super cool. It's only the second time that one has been traded in. The first one was in the box, which we kept for our personal collection, of course. That was a while ago. And uh, yeah, pretty rare system. Not cheap either. So pretty cool stuff um oh and i think this came in today not too special though so we have a ton of packages to open Mm. we have i think one two three four five six i think six or seven packages so you ready well we gotta get the counters cleared yeah all right guys let's open up these packages we are not putting any of this stuff in the system tonight it's already getting so late we're just going to open everything show you guys in the vlog and then go home so I've been coming in like an hour earlier, so so I'll try. 
Yeah, all the stuff that we just showed you, all the trade-ins, those are already in the system. So if you don't see them on the website, they already sold. Uh, but yeah, we have, I think this is an eBay one. And then we have three packages from some of you guys who bought some stuff through email. And then we have a package from Nathan, which is gonna be awesome. And then we have two Japanese packages from our secret source. So first up from eBay, at least I'm assuming this is an eBay one because I don't think we bought a single game from anyone else. At least a single N64 game. <laughs> that didn't even cut it. What the heck? This is an Ocarina of Time. There we go. And then we have a box from Travis in California. Nope. <laughs> he said, what up peeps? I love the vlogs. I still watch daily. Here are the games he agreed on, plus some stickers. Hope you peeps have an awesome day. And then all his info. Let's see what he included in here. Bam. Pretty sure. This is, yeah. okay, so we saw these photos and I like looked over Cooper's shoulder and I was like, oh, I was like, it's a video game store owner. And he was just like, or it's a video game store. And he was just like, he's like, really interesting. Cause like I like zoomed in on you like a see, label and it's like on a glass case. Yeah, you can see like the games in the glass case. And I'm, I recognize this, so I know we've done deals with him before. Um, but it's like, it wasn't focused. Let me see this. It's Gamers you Paradise. do it like. The, the beauty vlogger is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dropped some Mario Minion. I can't pick it up. <laughs> and there's like this one. Oh my god. I love it. There's a Thrasher one, an Angry Monkey, uh, Santa Cruz, another skateboard one, and then some Marios. Nice. Okay, cool. We have um, Kobe Bryant in NBA courtside. This is, oh my gosh, I always hate doing this. Well, this is complete. That. We have Ranger X for the Genesis. No manual. Okay, I swear to God, this is a copy of the game that we've had. But we have Hyperstone Heist. It is, that's Sun on faded. the outside, but it is sun faded on the front and kind of the side. And then the manual is torn to pieces. I'm like 90% very, very sure worn because copy. Video Game World was down in... Um, that's Video World. Or sorry, Video World was down, is the store that's down by Jackie and John now. That's attached to the video game store. So I'm pretty sure that's like our copy. A couple of these... We got to keep. for you. <laughs> this one I'm pretty sure we don't have, and that is Terminator for Super Nintendo. We have Bubsby, Bub, Bubsy complete? <laughs> Bubsby. Bubsy. Bubsy. It's complete. Also, Urban Strike. We're not, I'm not gonna open all of them because there's too many and it's gonna take too long. Just show the game. Uh, Lost Vikings, it feels complete. To get through. Golf. Ikari Warriors 2, Rocket Ranger, and Vindicators. And same with these, we're keeping some. Vindicators. We have Super Glove Ball, Raid 2020. The entire time Cooper was like looking at those photos, like he showed me like multiple photos and there's multiple Vindicators. And every time I would say something because of the Rick and Morty episode. I know we're keeping these two. We have Master Chew and the Drunkard Who, and also Silent Assault. That has no manual, right? Right. Some of these don't have manuals. We um, have... Some of them are complete. Rescue, the Embassy Mission. We have Cybernoid. We have a Xevious. And then we have a Swords and Serpents. And All Pro Basketball. Blades of Steel. Dick Tracy. And two Destination Earth Stars. Another copy of Vindicators. Xanak. Gyrus. Gunsmoke and Hyde Lied. We have Mad Max and Championship Bowling. And then Time Lord, Skull and Crossbones, and Freedom Force. Okay, we'll be right back. I'm gonna open some packages without Cooper. <laughs> but we have two packages from the same person. Um, let's see. You know that? So calm. Yes. Back. Lego Batman 2. 
Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Dishonored. Beyond Two Souls. What the heck? Dark, the Darkness. Is there a note? I haven't found one yet. NBA Shootout 2003. The Ultimate Board Game Collection. Far Cry 5. This stuff doesn't look familiar. Evergrace. We have Burnout Revenge. Juice. Need for Speed Carbon. A cable for like a PS3 controller. Fear. Two Souls Beyond Two Souls. Enslaved. Sealed 2K21. Disc is loose. Not for long. Pinball Hall of Fame Gottlieb Collection. Burnout 3 Takedown. And Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Not loose anymore. This stuff doesn't look familiar to me. I don't remember talking to anyone about this. We have a Disc Only Borderlands 2. Lego Indiana Jones, Disc Only God of War Ascension, Resistant Fall, Resistance Fall of Man, and The Walking Dead Season 2. I don't think I've ever seen this game. Shell Shock 2 Blood Trails. I've seen the first one a million times. Assassin's Creed 2 and Brutal Legend, which is an awesome game. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, God of War Ascension, nice. Dead Space 2, Skyrim, and Call of Duty Black Ops. There's no note. UFC uh, Undisputed 3, Cannon Lynch Dead Men, Hobbit, Dead Space 3, Call of Duty World at War, Max Payne 3, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham Origins in the cardboard case, and Resistance 2. Yeah, there is no note. Um, and this is stuff that I probably wouldn't have purchased at the moment, so yeah, I don't know. Um, we do have what well, we want to do that one first. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if we can set it up on this glass case. No, we definitely cannot. <sighs> it's gonna need to go probably right up here, so we'll move the camera down. Okay, but bam, let's go this way, guys. Come with me. This package. We're gonna save the Japanese ones for last, but this package here is way too heavy. <laughs> Put on the glass. See if you can lift it up here. I'm serious. Yeah, it's like what? I'm supposed to when, wonder. Oh my god. When the mailman handed it to me, I was like, oh god. <sighs> I don't know which side's the top. This side. Okay, you can't set it directly on the thing. You're gonna have to set it like cat a corner. It's too heavy. It's catty corner. <laughs> and I don't think that word applies to this situation. <laughs> I don't know. Give the box cutter. Nope. Where'd you put it? Your butt. You're such a liar. <laughs> <sighs> this box know. comes from our friend Nathan. Same guy we got all the PS1 games from that we opened up last week. I think he's coming to visit next month. Awesome. It'll be nice to see him. And this is not all he's sending, right? He's got more to send. I think we have three or four boxes on the way. And they're all going to be very similar to this one, like, like, like what's PS1. inside of it, basically. Yeah. Um. We explained last time what was happening with like this store that closed and all that. So this is more of that. So, update on that. Like, uh, we got the PS1 games from him. He, there was like a pack of these like mailers or something. We in showed them. those. Yeah, we bit. showed them. We thought it was like a joke, and then we messaged Nathan, and he was like, "I have no idea how those got in there. Like, that wasn't me." And it was actually like a mistake from the mailman. The box had split open. They put everything back in because I counted all the games. And then they added those on accident, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't really want to. <laughs> We're pulling them all out. Mm -hmm. These are NES games. Take a look. <laughs> and what's really cool, and I'm very happy to see this, is that it's not just all sports games and Mario Bros. Duck Hunt like I That's... thought it could be. I know that he said it wasn't, but these were basically left over from a store that closed, and the guy is selling everything like at a garage sale. So we're probably not gonna find any, you know, 20 or $30 games in here. I don't know, we found some $30 games in the PS1 stuff. Yes, but they weren't like obvious ones. Yeah. Um, so it, this is like a lot of filler stuff, 
but we need it. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here that's not sports games, which is cool because we didn't really know what was in here. We just were going off of his word saying it's not all sports. Yeah. So I mean, I asked him and he said all the N64 stuff was sports games. Which we did not that's get. That's why we didn't get it. All right, so let's go through. I don't even know where we're going to put all these. Uh, yeah. That's why I was like... Maybe we'll just do them like this. Maybe so, you should just film them like... Okay, fine. This is the stack that I already took out. So pretty good stuff. The one with no end label is Skate or Die. And then that black one is Super Sprint. And then here, Abby can show these. There's like three layers in here. So we're gonna have to show you the top layer, then take them all out, show you the next layer, then take those out and show you the third layer. I'm just gonna do two. How many games total was it? <laughs> well, cause like there's only thousand? one box. So it's like 1147 yeah. games or something. Yeah. And it's all NES and, and Super Nintendo, right? Mm -hmm. But mostly NES. Yeah. And this is box one of who, however many. Three or four. Three, four, or five. Uh, sorry, you guys, you're probably getting sick from this. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna. So pause take the layer recording. Off. We'll take the layer out. Okay, we have the second layer for you guys. There is not a third layer. Cooper said there was, and there isn't. I thought there was. Okay. <clears throat> Lots of cheap games. <laughs> yeah, but that's what we signed up for, so. The best we're game, I think, is Turtles. There's a bunch of Dr. Mario's, which is cool. I can't see on top of the thing, so I don't know if it's showing all of that. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're good. And then there's a Yoshi, one copy. Um, Yoshi's some, pretty beat. Some Tetrises, there's Batman, um, a couple pro wrestlings, nothing like crazy. But He had these set up as like a garage sale type thing from my understanding, and then he... Uh, then he was doing like by the box so people probably picked out any of the super super yeah. good stuff and it's only the first box so we have plenty more coming there should be some super nintendo in there as well um and then like i said it's it's like 1100 plus games yeah which is crazy they're not even all gonna fit on the shelf out there which is cool because like there was one point where we had a ton of nes games before you know like this whole section was completely full with another shelf. Um, now we're down to like three and a half shelves basically. So this is gonna fill out the section completely. There was also an ice hockey manual in there. And all of those. And Trojan. And Trojan. But, but I need Cooper's. this one to complete a box we have. So I'm gonna keep that. But yeah, all those sleeves are gonna go in the bin. And then I don't think there was any sleeves on any of these. I think we took no, them off. we took them all off. But yeah, so just this is a lot of NES games, but there's way more to come. So I think we're supposed to be getting a box a day. Awesome, that's okay. very cool. So because I and him talked about it, we're like, what do we do? Like, do we split it up? Do we like how are we gonna do this? And I was like, don't worry about shipping them too quickly. Like, take your time. We're super busy. And he was like, well, like we could split them into like almost a box a day. So he shipped. One the day we paid him, one yesterday, and one today. I think we're cool. only expecting three at this point. So we're probably not going to get another one until Monday, unless one comes on Saturday. One could come tomorrow, which is Friday. I mean, if he shipped He's it from yesterday. Mon but he, his stuff has always come in like one or two days. He only lives one state away, but, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, so, is it, isn't it technically more than one because of Idaho? No. Idaho doesn't go all the way up. Does it not? No. Oh. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It That's doesn't go all the way up to Canada. <laughs> um, it doesn't. Who has a phone? I'm like questioning myself. Oh, this is You're your phone. phone. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> you have to It's official. Me. Idaho does not touch That's Canada. So we, we looked it, it up and it I'm doesn't right. touch. I'm right. Abby found a fake picture. No, it's true. Idaho touches Oregon and Washington and Montana and whatever is below Montana. And Canada. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Canada's yes. not even real. <laughs> Let's open up these Japanese boxes. Wow, guys, look at this pack. So amazing. All the way from Japan. Why'd they even put that in there? I don't know. <laughs> and I don't remember. Oh, I guess I do remember getting those. These are mine. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Starting off with socks for Abby. These are Pokemon socks. Pokemon Center socks. Brand right new ones. So have small feet, and I can fit into kid sizes. We have some plushies. Oh my god. That That's almost so looks cool. like cardboard, but it's not. We have a ghastly plush from from the Pokemon Center. We have two of the Sony PlayStation thingies. There's one white, one clear. We have a Charizard plush. He's a beanbag one. Yeah. Uh, it's a, one of the Pokemon Fit ones, but he doesn't have his original tag. I'm not going to take this out of the bag because they kind of sit for a little bit and it gets dusty in the store sometimes, but we have the cutest Pikachu ever. <laughs> we have a Squirtle with this tag. Uh, I think this is from Monster Hunter. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, we have a Natu oh, Pokemon so Fit cute. one. And also a Torchic. Both of these have their tags. What is this? Let me see. Oh, are these stamps? Yeah. Oh. We have some more Monster Hunter plushies. We sold the last ones really, really quickly, so I went out of my way to try to find more. Animal Crossing stamps. We have a Bulbasaur and a Totodile. Yeah. These are both Pokemon Fit ones. We have another unknown from Pokemon hey, Fit. The unknowns are mine. Oh my God. The unknowns are mine. Give it! Only if the stamps are mine. I don't care about the okay, stamps. Okay. But I need the unknowns. We got two more. <laughs> I don't even know what this one's called. It looks like a little Houndoom. werewolf thing. Another monster hunter. Another monster hunter kitty. Giant mud kit. <laughs> That's a big one. Yay! Unknown X. Another one. Another monster hunter. I'm pretty sure this is a ditto. Yeah. A Glaceon ditto. We have... Bulbasaur, an Ivysaur, and oh, another Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, a baby Bulba. We have Charmander, and that's it. That's it, folks. We don't have anything else. That's it for the first box. Okay, actually, we have a Toby. Yeah. You need to put all these back in there. Okay. Except for the the unknowns, because them would be mine. <laughs> don't drop them on the floor. The floor is dirty. The floor is lava? No, the floor is dirty. <laughs> it is. Here you go. Okay. <gasps> the pocket stations, one is white, one is clear. I said though, that. I don't think you said the colors. Pretty sure I did. Okay. Next box. I think we should move this closer. Why? I don't know. Maybe, it just like, when you show people things, it's really far away. Show it closer. Here, take all of this. You take all of this. It has to go in the back. All right. Well, I'm keeping this. Well, maybe we should switch it. Fine. But I'm keeping this one. There's too many cool things from our Japanese source. You have it way pointed at you, or at me. Okay, I'm keeping this. It's too cool. Fairy Tale Guild Box, like big special edition for the Switch. Oh! <gasps> this is so cool! There's three of them. There's Xenoblade Definitive Edition for the Switch. Show the front of it. Oh, I didn't even see the front. I just saw this part and I was <laughs> like, what is this? And we have three of them. So if Abby wants to keep one, I guess she can. We have some soundtracks. I know you guys love the soundtracks and so do I. There is more though. We have another Blair Witch and we have Hardcore Mecca. Sorry, I can't read. And then, wait, wait, before you show this, I think there's games mixed in here. There are some. We have <laughs> Fight Crab with a soundtrack. My. <laughs> it's factory sealed. Look at that. The, the crab has a freaking war hammer, and that one has a mace or a flail, whatever you call it. That's so cool. One of the cases broke. Oh, here. no. 
I'm just looking for like games or right there. We have Moon Premium Edition. I'm sorry, guys, but <gasps> we have if Game & Watch Collection from Club Nintendo. Four I, of them. I tried to buy duplicates, as you can see with this. I bought all the quantity that they had. The box that they lost has more of those Game & Watch collections in it as well. Um, but I tried to I tried to get duplicates of whatever there is. Like I tried to order like three three copies of Moon. And then, because it said that they had more than one, but then when I go to check out, they say there's only one in stock. So I only got the one. Okay. Did you want this one? Yeah. This is the Link's Awakening soundtrack. I'm out. You get so to show cool. the. Yay! Okay. We have a Rockman special CD volume two little soundtrack here. It's got six tracks on it. We have Street Fighter II original soundtrack. We have the Fantasy Star 25th Anniversary, it says Sympathy, but I think it's Symphony, <laughs> 2013 live memorial album. It's like a double disc one. We have Tales of Eternia, the, the animation? What? Okay, I don't know if this is a soundtrack or what. <laughs> we have... Looks like two of these, uh, Dragon Quest one and two. I'm pretty sure these are just soundtracks. There's no, there's no English on them, but it looks like they have 26 tracks. So I'm, that's gotta be music, right? It's kind of hard to tell sometimes cause they, they release a lot of CDs that are just like vocal track ones, which that's fine, but I'm trying not to buy those. And I'm pretty sure we already have some. Um, the Street Fighter cameo one we have is a is a like vocal track one, um, so I'm trying to get ones that are actual music, <laughs> so people that buy them can actually enjoy them. We have Street Fighter Two Mad Revenger. We have, whoa, this is that's got to be just like upside down, uh, but we have a Silent Hill Two original soundtrack. We have, this is Samurai Show, it looks like Samurai Showdown Special, which I'm pretty sure is a soundtrack. And then Samurai Spirits. Yeah, this is a soundtrack. We have, oh, weird. I think this is, missing some artwork unless it came like this i'm not sure let me get this little spine card thing out because it's in the way so this might be missing something on the back i'm not sure but this is a biohazard code veronica original soundtrack it's a double disc one there's no back but it does have a little spine paper so i'm just going to put that in the back for now we have the donkey kong country returns original soundtrack from Club Nintendo, which is really freaking cool. Now, this one, holy crap. I gotta open this one. Ryan is gonna want this so bad. If I can get it out, I just gotta rip the bag. We have, no he didn't. We have the Biohazard 2 Sound Chronicle, which is a big box here. It's got six discs there they are let's just take one out a little, little dusty uh biohazard disc one bam very cool looking set it's a nice box we have this is the case that broke unfortunately but it's a uh, rockman nine original soundtrack at least this is one of the cases that broke. We have, whoa, this is weird. Biohazard 3, Last Escape, original soundtrack. But this is like, it's like a single, it's a double disc case, but it's not like the standard ones. Um, this is like as thick as two CD cases, basically, but it's like one thing. It's not like whatever the other one was. <laughs> Same with this one. Uh, 
Pocket Monsters Original Soundtrack Best 1997 through 2010 Orchestra Arrangement by Shinji Miyazaki. There's another one of those like extra thick cases here. Whoa, disc is popping out. That is super cool. Then we have Symphonic Fantasies Music from Square Enix. So on the back, Fanfare Overture, Kingdom Hearts, Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, and Final Fantasy. Very, very cool. It looks like one track from each game. Uh, Street Fighter 2. This one might just be a vocal one because it says cast instead of like track list. Which, you know, I try not to get, but <laughs> it's kind of hard since I don't read Japanese. What is this one? Y Yasunori Mitsuda and Millennial Fair? Square Enix. This one I do not know. I can obviously look at my order in my email, but that doesn't help me right now. Oh, this is Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross Arrangement Album. Okay, that's super cool. There's the spine card, which has the info. Uh, looks like it's a double disc one. Okay, this is the weirdest case I've ever seen. It's like the size of a CD case, but it's, a, it's like a little bit taller and it's a little bit bigger. But this is Chrono Trigger original soundtrack revival disc, but it says Blu-ray on, down on the corner here. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. That's the weirdest shaped case I've ever seen, but I mean, can't beat a Chrono Trigger soundtrack. There's another Fantasy Star 25th anniversary one. This one is Neo Sound Orchestra. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some of you guys will recognize it, but it's like a, some like Neo Geo SNK kind of soundtrack for probably something like Samurai Showdown or something like that. This one is another one. This is Samurai Showdown 2 soundtrack, I guess. We have Pokemon the First Movie soundtrack. <laughs> Tales of Series Battle Arranged Tracks. Tales of the Abyss original soundtrack. It's a double disc one. This is the case that got really destroyed, but we can replace the case, luckily it's just a regular one. Uh, this is some something Pokemon 2005. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but it's Pokemon. And then Street Fighter EX. Is that what that is? Yeah, Street Fighter EX. Soundtrack, definitely. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to see if it's like a vocal track one or a music one. It looks like a music one. There's another Biohazard 3. There is Street Fighter 2. Um, this one looks like... Okay, yeah, so it's got... It's got music and I think some like music videos on there, but it's got a slip cover with like an extra thick book in there as well. And then we got another Biohazard 2 original soundtrack. We've had these before, but sold out. And then lastly, this is really cool. Chrono Trigger original sound version. This is, does it say how many discs? There's, it's a double disc case. I don't know how many actual discs there are, but that is really, really cool looking. <laughs> so that is it aside from some broken plastic from cases. And my hands are super dusty and that's it guys so hopefully you enjoyed today's video just gonna go ahead and end it here i need to wash my hands so thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you again tomorrow bye